I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things had got real heavy. Panama had been my second job with Passos. First, it had been easy, money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. No, sir, nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Nasty! Ah, come here, I love oh, this one. Marcello, you're going to be the death of me? <laughs> I'm afraid of more Sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome. Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey soldier. Oh. Ah, I got drinking so much. I give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Just stay off the yayo, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now... I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey. Uh, I love a woman. She's with another and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Filippi. Filippi! You crazy crackhead, lay off the yayo, hey. Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure, ta bon, ta bon, but have him smile a bit more, you know? Cause life, life is good! <laughs> Where's the truck? It's coming, hey, soon. Pasos. I gotta go my down. Okay.
boat was well appointed. I'd be asking for trouble. everything. The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them?
It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. save some valuables. something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out.
my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it. It didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Yeah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. You knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal. equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste.
to find a switch. It was nice to see a friendly face in Panama. There was probably a control console behind the desk. seeing you here. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Panama. I was drinking. People die. 
Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what, I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan them. But I thought the Broncos were rich. How'd he go rich? The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. Okay, you want to do some good? Hmm? You want to get yourself killed in a good cause? And I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me.
Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. slept in days. I needed something to keep me going. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already.
the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture, like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man.
this was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. soundtrack to my life and for a few seconds came harmony What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research. Please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera. Espera, eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus! E aí, doutor? All Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. There had to be something I wasn't seeing. arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. in days. I needed something to keep me going. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. Some dope. 
dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. Vocês ouviram isso? Quem sai desse prédio desse cara tá morto. My visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. of those explosives, I had to do it now. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Bye, bye, rápido, rápido, bye. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis. What the fuck is your problem, man? My problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead! You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried! Well done with your effort. 
The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people are gonna help you out of this one, buddy. Listen, now come with me, Max, to Brazil. Give me a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and his brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. This thing works. <laughs> 